Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Get out of your Bible and turn with me. So the scripture, Romans chapter 9, verse 16. I'm going to read some scriptures in continuation of dealing with the spirit of Phares, spirit of Zara and the spirit of Phares. Dealing with the spirit of Zara and the spirit of Phares. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of what? Of God that showeth mercy. We looked at Genesis chapter 38 from 27 to 30, and we saw how Zara brought out his hand and was declared the first child. And before he could realize it, something happened. And what happened there was Fares broke forth. In Isaiah 54, I'm reading verse 2 and 3, looking at the spirit of Pharaoh. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. For thou, somebody say it's me. For thou, for thou, shall do what? Break forth on the right hand and on the left. Somebody who believed that say amen. Somebody say I will break forth. I wish you are here this morning. Can I hear you say I will break forth? Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter the adversaries that are on the way. Paul says, there is an open door. There is what? An open door. But many what? Adversaries. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. For a great door, an effectual is open unto me. And there are how many adversaries? Many, many. I, I, I've come to let somebody here this morning to know that even though the challenges are there and they look very, very obvious that Child of God, with God, nothing is impossible. I've come to encourage someone here this morning. There may be many adversaries in this one singular open door unto you. I have a news for you. You will break forth. 
Oh God, help somebody to understand this prophetic voice this morning. I say to you, you will break forth. If the hand that blocks the passage could not stop an unborn child from coming out. Child of God, you already born. You already on earth here. You already grown up. You will break forth. The meaning of Pharaoh's mean, it means break forth. That's the meaning of Pharaoh's. Spread abroad. That's the meaning of Pharaoh's. And somebody's name is being changed this morning. Sudden breakfast. I prophesy the God of suddenly we visit somebody before the week is over. <laughs> suddenly, the hand that blocked the passage was pulled back. And Pharaoh broke forth. And the midwife said, how did you break forth? Here this morning, you are about to spread abroad. God is about to reveal who you are. You are about to be displayed to your generation. Therefore, Pharaohs, you must take your position and fight whatever blocks your passage. If the unborn child can fight, what about me? What about me? Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. Look at somebody by your side and say, break the barriers. And say it if you mean it, say, break the barriers. Take your position. Occupy your place. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't promise us that it's going to be rosy. He said, in this world, you shall have troubles. But he said, I am with you always. <laughs> I am with you always. Somebody say, always. While I was studying last night, I took a book. I wrote this book uh, in uh, 2012, nine years ago was when I read, when I wrote this book. And I was reading it last night. And I said to myself, did I really write this book? And I just wonder how many people have ever sat down and read this book. What I have just decided to do today is 18th. I've read the 18th nuggets. Now, I want you to turn to the scriptures because I'm trying to get something across to somebody this morning. I'm trying to get something across to somebody. Oh, Tarandish, Kerba. Give me Numbers chapter 14, verse 24. But my servant Caleb, 
Because he had another spirit with him. And has followed me fully. Him will I bring into the land wherein, whereunto he went. And his seed shall possess it. And, and this, this was God talking. When Caleb was about 40 years old, they about, he was among those that we are sent to the land of Canaan. And they, he came, they were, they were 12, he and Joshua came, and they brought the fruits. And ladies and gentlemen, when God was making this statement, uh, uh, Caleb was 80 years old. And he said, the reason I want to give Caleb the portion is because he was not intimidated by the giants that were in the land. Who told you there won't be giants? Listen to me. What you're looking for, somebody's looking for it. What you're making sacrifice for, somebody has made greater sacrifice before. He said, because my servant Caleb had another spirit. That is the spirit of Pharaohs. The spirit of Pharaohs is the spirit that does not give up. Not intimidated. Not discouraged by circumstances. By situation. By visible evidence. God's anger with that generation was not because they saw, they reported what they saw. The spirit of Pharaohs is a spirit that when he comes over you, you see danger. You see it. Yet, you face it. You become dangerous to danger. That is the spirit of Pharaohs. When the hand blocked the passage, Pharaohs was not folding hand. And Grand Bruce Kaye, he said to jo he, 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 you know what Isaac said to Esau? He said, Esau, when you become restless, you will break the yoke. Until a man gets a point where you are restless, you will not break forth. You don't break forth by folding hands. He said, he has, he has another spirit. And he said, he followed me fully. So because of that, I will bring him to the land. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, do you have a land you are looking forward to? He said, I will bring him to the land he saw. He saw something. Did you have a dream? For the year. And four months is running. And it's like nothing is happening. Can you fight? Fares, fight. That's what I've come to let you know. He had another spirit. I wrote something here. I said, this is the spirit that guarantees success in the midst of conflicts. Another spirit. Somebody say another spirit. That is the spirit of Pharaohs. They have declared Zara the first. Are you going to just fold the hand? Are you just going to say, well, it is over. They, these are the people that determine what happened. Nobody has the monopoly. Nobody can determine. Except you accept it. You are the one to determine what happens. You may not be accepted now. That does not mean you will not be accepted. You may have failed the exam now. That does not mean you will not fail the exam. It's not of him that run it. It's not of him that will it. It is God that show it what? Mercy. The spirit that differentiates you from others is the spirit of Pharaohs. 
That's the spirit that tells you you can win. When you wake up in the morning, you say you can win. You, you sit, you say you can win. I was reading the nugget of today, and the nugget of today says, define what you want. He said, be in control. Be in control. Be in control. Oh, oh God. Be the driver of your life. Don't allow circumstances to drive your life. Don't. Don't allow situation to drive your life. Be in control and drive. And for you to drive, start the car. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine in the morning. Define what you want in a day. Then look for it. If you don't define, you cannot find. Define what you want. If you don't, the day will define for you. If you are not in charge of the steering and the car is moving, of course you know the conclusion. Disaster will occur. Disaster will take place. Farage, I've come this morning to let you know that this Jericho wall before you will fall before you. If I hear you, are, amen. Yeah. Hey, Farez, listen. It's a heavy wall. But that is not the end of the matter. The end of the matter is after, after this time, what happens next? The wall may be there now. That does not mean that the wall is going to be there forever. They saw the wall, but the wall came down. I'm saying to you, that wall of Jericho is coming down. Hey, Faraz, can you hear me this morning? Between you and your inheritance is River Jordan. Oh, God, give somebody understanding of what I'm talking about. The inheritance was after Jordan. And God said to Joshua, walk through Jordan. There was no road. He said, Joshua, walk through Jordan. That is the spirit of Pharaoh. I appreciate the realities of the challenges I am facing. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He has declared me more than a conqueror. Therefore, I will do what? Fight. Somebody say, fight. <laughs> Develop an anger. Develop anger against oppression of the wicked. And Joshua set the men and they carried the ark. And the leaders were the ones that were in the front. The leaders. Not like in the day of Moses. In the day of Moses, he was a, he parted. He followed after. After the people have crossed, Moses followed and closed the river. But this one, the leaders will dip their, if the water is going to swallow them, it will swallow them. But as soon as, if you can dare it, you will see the great God. Date. Date. You will see the great God. They stepped into this the water, and the water parted. If you they didn't step into the water and begin to apply the method of Moses, the water will not part. Understand the season and the timing. Somebody say, "I hear." Fares. You will be declared the first child, though you are behind. The only way you will be declared first is if you can fight. Somebody say fight. fight. If you can fight, 
if you can engage the world, if you can engage the blood, if you can engage his name and stand on the word, friend, you will arrive there. Thank you.